Hello, people who are not me, and welcome back to more Mega Man 4. I am Sire Goku. Now we are going to be moving on to Ring Man. Sonic's biggest fan. <laughs> Anyways, right off the bat, we're introduced to Ring Man's stage gimmick. Anytime you touch this rainbow platform, it's gonna start disappearing to the from behind you. You also have these turrets on the walls that... Ow. <laughs> yeah, they can hit you and knock you down. So you know what? Screw it. I'm going to use Rain Flush and get rid of them. <laughs> it's not... Requi that's not required, but it just makes things easier. Same for here. Getting rid of these satellite enemies. Now, if you just walk on these platforms, they're going to start disappearing from underneath you pretty quickly. Ow! Darn it! <laughs> Let's try that again. Yeah, but if you slide across the platforms here... I want that extra life. Thank you. <laughs> if you slide across the platforms, then it'll start disappearing a bit later. It does start disappearing the second you... the moment you stop on the platforms, but if you're sliding, it'll... it'll take a while for it to register. Now here's the problem with this level. Lots of mini-bosses, starting with this hippo here. I'm using rapid fire because, screw it, you don't want to watch me take this guy out. Basically all you have to do is shoot the platform underneath until it drops to lower itself to you, and then you can shoot him. It takes forever if you don't use rapid fire. Even with charge shots, it takes forever. But now we're introduced to spike pits across these moving rainbow platforms, these disappearing rainbow platforms. So be a little cautious. And now another mini boss. This stage is just full of them. This ring enemy can only be shot, can only be damaged when he launches his rings at you. So I just use Time Stopper because it's easier to just freeze the rings in place and then shoot him. And for beating that mini boss, we fight yet another hippo enemy. He's gonna shoot missiles at you from his mouth, and that's it. <laughs> you just keep shooting the platforms out from underneath him, excuse me, and shoot him when he's lowered up. Lower down. Now, coming up here, we're going to be introduced to another new character, Eddie. Eddie's going to be your quote-unquote item purse for this game. He, he will randomly drop an item, which can be anything from a life energy, from a life energy or weapon energy to extra lives and even energy tanks. Now we have the reverse platforms. These pla unlike the rainbow colored platforms, these platforms are going to disappear from in front of you rather than behind you. So what I like to do is trigger them first and then while the platform's reforming, I walk across it. <laughs> these little satellite enemies are really easy to take care of. This one I just kind of bum rush because eh. <laughs> and yet another ring enemy here. Jesus, this stage just has too many mini bosses. There we go. But we're at the end of the stage. If there's one thing I do... The stages are a little bit longer in Mega Man 4, but not too much longer. But Ring Man... Ring Man's one of the more difficult bosses of this game. He's weak to the Pharaoh shot, which is why I'm getting it out now. He's gonna throw a ring at you. Now the ring is going to travel across to where until it reaches Mega Man's current position. It doesn't actually swing all... It doesn't actually fly all, all the way across the room. It just... It, he is literally targeting where you are. So you try to use that to your advantage. <laughs> he is one of the more difficult bosses, so you may take a few hits like I just did, but if you're using the Pharaoh Shot, he should go down fairly quickly. More ra more airplanes, I apologize. <laughs> but for defeating Ring Man, we get the Ring Boomerang. Unfortunately, it's not as good as the Ring Boomerang from Game Bo from the Game Boy version of Mega Man 4. <laughs> Let's move on to the next boss. His weakness order is Dust Man. Yeah, Dust Man. <laughs> But Dustman actually has my second favorite stage theme in the game. <laughs> Ow. Dang it, shield attacker. 
Yeah, you're gonna start the stage off right away with shield attackers. Mm. And... Be careful about open pits in this area. You're gonna deal with enemies that pop out of these pits. Dang extra life, I wanted that. But you're gonna wanna... If you try and jump over this pit, those enemies are gonna hit you and knock you into them, and you're gonna die. There we go. Now I got an extra life. So just shoot the enemies as they come out first, and then make the jump. I'm gonna use... Yeah, I'm gonna give Balloon actual screen time, because hardly anybody I... Hardly any Let's Play of this game I've ever seen actually gives use to the balloon, so I feel it's left out. We have the return of giant enemies that do massive damage to you if they hit you. So be careful about that. Now rather than having disappearing reappearing blocks, we just have a giant block that appears in segments. <laughs> just wait for it to form, and then jump across the open pits. <laughs> Ow. We got these propeller enemies that are going to try and knock you into said pits. And I'm doing a terrible job of avoiding them. <laughs> it only takes two shots to get rid of them, so you shouldn't have too much trouble. The recording curse, I guess, is hitting me. <laughs> Maybe if I'm lucky, Eddie will give me something nice. And he does! It's an E-Tank. Thank you. E-Tanks or Energy Tanks? Like in every Mega Man game since Mega Man 2, when you use it, it'll refill your life energy to full. Now this section can be tricky. You have these moving con you have these moving compactors. It will crush you if you stand under it for too long. You have to clear out these dust blocks. That's the plus side to having the anniversary collection. You have rapid fire, which oh, thank you, Matt. <laughs> But you have rapid fire, which makes clearing these sections out a lot faster. Granted, using a charge shot, granted using a charged Mega Buster shot does just as good, but eh, personal preference. And one more giant. I mean, yeah, you have to forgive me. I'm I am a huge fan of Mega Man, but I don't know enemy names. At least not all the enemy names. Take out this Met here before jumping, otherwise he may knock you into the spikes. And we have one more big enemy here before getting to Dustman himself. Dustman is weak to the Ring Boomerang. <laughs> I don't see... Actually, I don't see any reason to explain that. I mean, I'm gonna go in weakness order. Now, Dustman's gonna shoot a dust block at you. When you jump over it, it's gonna split in four directions. But if you jump straight up, he's gonna miss you. Now, when he's doing this animation here, where he's sucking you towards him, you can't actually hit him. So you just have to slide away from him and wait for him to stop. Other than that, he's probably the easiest boss, in the, like, second easiest next to Toad Man, but really, he can't do much to me at all. <laughs> Unless I misjudge my timing on my jumps, he's never gonna he's never gonna hit me. <laughs> but for defeating Dustman, we get the Dust Crusher. Which is actually a really powerful weapon if you use it right. <laughs> I actually actually the weapons in this game have more uses than it than in previous Mega Man games I find. But next up is Skullman. Totally not hinting at who the real villain of this game is. What are you talking about? Shifty eyes. Ah, Skullman. You know, you know. In all honesty, I don't really like Skullman's stage. <laughs> not that it's a. Not that the stage is difficult. I just. It looks dull. I mean. Granted, the blue mixes well with the white. <laughs> or this dark purple cave, as it were, but it just... I don't know, it just seems boring. Anyway, we got this... Skeleton Joe here. If you shoot him, he's just gonna fall apart. He doesn't die, he just reforms himself. In order to finish him off, you have to actually use the charge shot. Mega Man 4 really wants you to use the new Mega Buster. <laughs> And I'm okay with this, honestly. The Mega Buster is what made Mega Man popular in the first place. <laughs> well, one of the things. Well, I shouldn't say made him popular. It's what he's 
It's one of the things he's best known for. Ow! Stupid shield attackers. Shield attackers, you can only hit them from behind. Even the charge shot, if you hit them from the front, is not going to count. <laughs> so, be careful about that. What do you got for me, Eddie? Now, here's a trick. If Eddie doesn't give you what you want him to give you, as long as you don't pick up the item, if you leave the room and come back, he's going to give you a new item. Usually. Here he's trying to give me weapon energy again. Let's try one more time. Thank you, that's better. <laughs> but there's a trick for you. You can manipulate the item drops that he gives. Now, you are supposed to continue climbing up the ladder here, but going over to the right here, you're actually going to get some some sweet items. Ow! Stupid respawn. We get a free energy tank, and if you really want to, you can climb up and get this huge life energy here if you want. Get rid of you. Okay. Let's just keep going. I do like the music for this level, though. That is one thing I'll give Mega... That is a big prompt I'll give Mega Man 4. Mega Man is best known for its music, and Mega Man 4 just really shines when it comes to the music. There's very few tracks in this game that I actually outright dislike. <laughs> but here's another use of the balloon. The balloon's actually... I actually really like the balloon item. It, like I explained before, it acts pretty much the same as item number one from Mega Man 2. Oh, these guys can't be... Oh, these guys can't be hit by the rain flush. I thought they could. Oh, no, it does. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> but, yeah, it acts pretty much like the item number one from Mega Man 2, which I'm okay with. I liked the items in Mega Man 2. <laughs> I liked everything about Mega Man 2. I'm not going to chance this jump. There we go. You have these skeleton snake things that are really easy to get rid of. <laughs> Now this part is actually really, really annoying. That is a really wide jump. You can make that jump, but I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> Especially with these Skeleton Joes. They're going to try and knock you into pits. Yeah, not fun at all. <laughs> and seeing as you have to use the Mega Buster to get rid of them, yeah, not risking anything here. There we go. Life is good, but I kind of want weapon energy. Also, you get all those l small life ups that are equal to one large life energy. I don't know why it's not just one large life energy. Oh well. But we're at Skull Man. It's... Come on, Skull Man. What are you doing? Attack me. There we go. Yeah, Skull Man has this... Skullman has this weird thing where he doesn't actually do anything unless you fizz unless you fire first. And he's gonna shoot this spread shot, as well as use the he's also the shield user of this game. Now this the shots he was firing actually do aim towards you, so even if you jump, he's gonna start aiming up at you. So be careful about that. He almost got me off guard there for a minute. <laughs> I almost lost there. Oh well. But for beating Skullman, we get the Skull Barrier. This game's shield weapon. And honestly, it's probably the worst of the shield weapons in the entire classic se Of all the Mega Man games in the classic series, Skull Barrier is probably the worst. <laughs> but moving on to Dive Man. Dive Man is this game's true water boss, <laughs> or water stage, I should say. Toad Man had some, yay, extra life. Ah, uh, now Mega Man, rem Mega Man Four remembers I'm playing it. <laughs> Honestly, any time I play Mega Man, I just get really lucky with with drops. I get a lot of extra lives. I don't know why, but I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna call a part here. I mean, you can use. Yeah, I'll explain more later. <laughs> but I get to show off the Rush Marine here, so that's a plus. I'll see you guys in part three. Oh, after this whale mini boss here. 